Hi folks. I wanted to cover something today that in Sony Vegas doesn't jump out at you unless you've been shown by somebody. It's when you need to apply a whole bunch of effects to each clip basically. So by the time you've done one and then you have to repeat them to the to all the others. It is quite a simple process. I'll just use a few effects for an example on this one. On the clippers, I'll just expand this clip, which of course you can do with video or audio to give yourself a better look at it. On your Event FX button, we'll just grab the sorts of things I would normally be using on these type of clips to suit the way that I shoot. Now, sometimes when people work in Photoshop a lot, they will confuse this with normal curves. This is color curves, and it's actually the tool that we use for lightening shadows. Now if you have a look at this over here in the preview window, we're not changing the highlights too much, we're changing the shadows. Now when you've got a, you know, a lot of uh, dark spots in that, we can pick them up a bit. And notice also in the handles I've got there, I can change the severity of that. Shorten becomes less and a little more finely tuned. So what I'm looking for in this particular shot is just to pull some of those shadows out. That's all I wanted to do with that. We might also want over the rest of the picture to increase our contrast a little bit. So we're going to pull it back just subtly and then up that exposure again. Now what we've got we didn't have before is a bit more punch in the contrast. Of course if the shot needs it, once again just like an old Photoshop trick, there is an unsharp mask that you can apply a little, there are some presets here, a little or a lot. You know, you've got to be subtle with this because in video it picks up grain quite quickly. And those three are done. And of course, if you want to add effects, you can add more to your plug-in chain there. If you want to take away one of those things you've done, just knock it off from there. Close the window for now. Those three effects have been applied and it has definitely improved that clip. I've got a mixed bag here of course, it wouldn't be the way you'd normally work, but say I wanted to apply all of the same effects to all of these clips. Right click and copy on the one we've just done, and then go and select the others. Left click, shift, left click, you've now selected them all. Right click anywhere there and look for paste event attributes. What that is, is pasting all of the things we've just done to that clip. And now these shots have also had the same applied. We've just given the contrast a little bump to make it stand out better. We've also adjusted any highlights by bumping them up a bit. And it's non-destructive. We can then go into any one of those, click on the event effects again, and if I'm not happy with the shadows in a room, we can now do a little more or a little less on the individual clips. There could have been 30, 30 clips all under the same lighting conditions that, you, that deserve the same treatment and you can do them in a mouse click. I'm just going to show you how to quickly apply to the whole, line, the whole timeline in one hit without having to do that separately. Event effects on the bottom of each clip, sure, but over here on the left you've also got the ability to do it to the whole track. Just got to be a bit careful how you use that, that's all. So. Color curves, levels, unsharp mask, and they're all going to be applied to the whole track. I know roughly what I did, so I'm just going to do this quickly. Basically, there, unsharp mask, we gave it a little bit of treatment there, not a lot, and bang, I've treated the whole timeline exactly the same. We don't now have individual adjustments unless we go and but we'd then be applying, applying it as separate effect. You would have to do them to the whole timeline again. So it's got to be used sparingly, but it's a great little tool if it's needed. Thanks for watching.